As for these fans watching Japan, all about preparation ahead of their role at the main event as co-hosts. Their team will have the first offense. So Gashi passing on. Hawkinson playing these qualifiers for the first time. Nice swivel and score. Suichiro Inui. Lovely team play from Tom Hovas's team from the opening tip. And she'd be going to work for a round. It's individual offense for them. Nothing doing. Tough shot off the side of the window. Quick three in transition off the mark for Hawkinson. Now several players getting a touch for a run as they go into the post. Nice pass in traffic in the paint from Jan Sheedy. And the finish from Karzemi. Hawkinson spins into the double team. And creates the space on the perimeter for the shooter. He knew can't knock it down. He is a 42% three-point shooter in this campaign. The basket good and one for Sajad Masha'eki. Kept his balance, composure and concentration. He got the kind rim. An experienced member of this team, Masiaki. Averaging 6.4 points in this qualifying campaign. He knew his hand off. Walking soon. So Gashi, he's going to take it, and he got it. Yukito Gashi with a big three. Well, he only hit one of his eight shots in the reverse meeting between these two in Tehran for three points in the whole game. He's got three already here. He did have six assists without a turnover, though, in that previous meeting, Togashi. He's got the three early points here, nailing it over the top of the Akshali. And very forceful, though, in trying to get to the basket. And certainly the trip to the foul line. Same spot, same player, different outcome this time, Togashi. Hoping to feel it, didn't happen. There's that aggression again. Rana really setting the tone here. Sending a message straight away. No time for the Japan defense to set. Yamashidi and Hassan Zada combining. Mashieki goes up the foul line. Batting on the boards was Karzemi. And his teammate to save it on the baseline. Karzemi, the all time leader in rebounds in all FIBA World Cup qualifiers, 10.5 rebounds a game. Over his 16 appearances. In Japan. Infaltrable here. Four fouls for just over two and a half minutes. Go 
goes Makoto Hajima. Picking up his second already. Again, the attack straight to the goal. Japan trying to plug the paint. Only a two point lead for a round, but plenty of positive signs, certainly in terms of the foul trouble for Japan as well. Hawkinson. Togashi back into Hawkinson. Looking to give Iran a taste of their own medicine. Attacking from close proximity, but not scoring. A slight gap to attack the paint again, taken in the blink of an eye. But they're not dropping for Iran either now. Three-point shot is right on the money for Inui. Knocked down three of them in the defeat in Tehran. 42% on the outside in this campaign. He averages 5.8 points a game. Yu Watanabe coming in. And he knew he takes about. It's a long two if it goes. It was short anyway from Jamshidi. Offensive rebound this time for Yakshali. And a fresh 14 on the shot clock. Charlie stuck too tightly by the defense. And attacking the double team on the interior, Karzemi and one. Karzemi up against Hawkinson. Beat the help defense as well, spinning back to the baseline. He's also the record holder for the most rebounds in a single qualifier, 26. In one game against Bahrain, he also had 10 points, 12 assists in that game for just the second ever triple-double in World Cup qualifying. Got to run ahead by one. Togashi. Another three for him, two long this time. Offensive rebound for Japan, though. Grabbed by Watanabe, who just come in. Togashi, jab steps, passes on. Yoshi recovers the hand on the ball, gets it away just in time. Offensive rebound again. The put back no good, though. It's a long two again, feet on the line. Doesn't drop for yet, Charlie. What about pass, Togashi into the end zone. Touchdown for Watanabe. What a beautiful pass from Yuki Togashi. These two teams wrestling for the lead after the opening five minutes. And that time Japan wrestled for the ball and get out in transition for a score from Yoshi. Look at the fast break point, 7-0 in Japan's favour. Iran attacking quickly though. With the Akshali and another chance at a three-point play. Plenty of changing dynamics. And then at the line for the tie with Yak Charlie. What a performance he had in the home win over Japan. 30 points. He was 7 of 10 from the line, but 4 of 5 from two point range and 5 of 9 on the perimeter. 
Exchange here, Kawamura in the mood, Hawkinson, Kawamura again. Now Watanabe attacking, tough defense, but he picks up the pieces and finishes. A really positive impact on the game coming in off the bench for Watanabe. And this is this trademark defense everybody's talking about here from Kawamura. And it gets the fans really on the edge of their seats as well. 3.2 steals a game to lead all players in Asian World Cup qualifying. 21-year-old who's been a game-changer with that kind of defensive energy. Not just here in these qualifiers, but at the Asia Cup as well. Tough to play, that tenacious defence, however, when your team is at the foul limit early in a quarter. It's not just about defence, he averages a team-high 5.2 assists with just 1.6 turnovers off the bench. He's also been working a lot on his scoring. And, uh, although he didn't score a great deal early in this campaign in November against Bahrain in Kazakhstan, he averaged 16 and a half points. Japan's bright young talent. Deep three. Too long for Kanachika. This is qualifying his debut today. Another young player, 19 years of age. Big attack here. Finger roll with four. Pass off there. They ran have the edge. Three minutes to play in the first. Kanachika again. Any, to give his opponent any time to breathe. And now he back in. That's the first foul on Iran. In seven minutes. Mora going for the goal. Plays with the same energy on offense as he does on defense. Mora again. It's a deep three from him, and he drains it. Yuki Kawamura continues to increase his rapidly rising resume. Jamshidi. Back out, little hesitation. Yakshali clings onto it. Five on the shot clock here. Stuck to by that man again, Kawamura. Forces him back, hand in the face, misses. His teammates need to protect the board. Kawamura grabs the rebound. He's doing everything right now. Plenty of time on the shot clock here for Kawamura to settle in possession. Tend to shoot now. Kawamura, three point shot is good. Yuki Kawamura taking the game by the scruff of the net. Japan by four. Kawamura has back to back threes. Kazemi is fouled. What a young talent Yuki Kawamura is. He's limited to only 11 minutes in the defeat in Iran. 
He put up five points, three assists, zero turnovers. He was only one of five from the field, though. As I say, he's worked a lot on his offensive game since then. He's playing longer minutes. He's putting up more points. He's maintained the same defensive doggedness. He's changed this quarter. Now Japan to create the first little bit of breathing room. Now it's around, we have to rise to the challenge. Kawamura, everything going through here. Nishida up to the far side. Three point shot misses. Kazami the rebound. Jamshidi picks it back out. Nishida the long defender. Fake, step in, long range two. Iran's offense knocked out of its rhythm. Kawamura lifting the team defense of Japan. Others have answered the call as well. And look at that from Kawamura. They're chasing shadows right now, Iran. He's got eight points in the quarter. And Japan lead by six. Davudi, shot clock down to three. Davudi trying to take the ball with him, ran out of time. Japan by six, a chance to stretch it. Only a two and a half second differential at the end of the first. And Kawamura has been the spark plug. Now Japan need a bit of control so they don't leave Iran much time for a final shot of their own. Kawamura. Has to show maturity now in these moments. Crossover. Passes on. Three to shoot. Back out it goes. Three point shot off the mark. Didn't hit the rip. Out of bounds. Okay, Grazed the side of the rib. 1.6 left. Not a shot they wanted. Nishida only shooting 27% from three. Well, nowhere near for Pazorofte. And Japan, thanks to that young man there, Kawamura have opened up the first significant gap of the game. Lead around by six at the end of one. From downtown already. Kawamura oh, has two of those, added to by Inaoi and Togashi, his teammates. Inaoi playing well from the start, it was a really even game until Kawamura came in. Several lead changes, back and forth, Iran putting Japan of course in foul trouble as well. Due to their aggressive offense. Excellent work from Kazemi. And they seem to have Japan right where they wanted them. Out the foul limit, and then Kawamura happened. Came in. And scored eight points in four and a half minutes, but even more importantly than that, before that, set the tone on defense. 
helping Japan force the Iranian offense back despite the foul trouble. Just a reminder, you can download the Courtside 1891 app to get all the stream schedules and scores right in your pocket. Not just from these qualifiers, but through a whole catalog, catalog of competitions. He's coming in at the start of the second quarter for Japan, 24-year-old point guard who back in 2018-19 was the assist leader in the NCAA Division I. One of those two for a round miss, it's been forced away from the basket more so the longer the game's gone on. It wasn't just the defense of Kawamura for Japan, but the way he influenced his teammates in playing better defense as well. Suda misses Japan's first shot of the second. And Shudi always kicks by Yoshi. Yoshi, the defensive battler, 24 year old forward who picked the number 91 as his jersey number in a tribute to Dennis Rodman. Used by Japan to defend taller talents. Oh, fake. Even the open shots not falling now for a round. Toast. It was the baseline, grabbed the handle on the ball, balancing, turned it over into the hands of Karzami. Good pressure on defense from Iran. Turn it into a chance to score points. With a trip to the foul line. Foul on Inawi. Benham Yakshali. And the, the hoop is small right now for Iran. Eighteen point three points per game, and this campaign can't make a free throw. So Japan another chance to stretch what is already the largest lead. Turn around, long ranger, good. The Suda, it's a two, I believe. And the lead is eight points. Hawkins looking to stick with Jamshidi. Jamshidi wants to dance with the defense, forced the slip and found the finish. And now Jamshidi taking on the responsibility. In Iran's time of need. Hawkinson, he will answer back and raise Jamshidi a three. So nine the lead for Japan. And Hawkinson, the latest player to knock down on the perimeter. Five threes from four different players now for the Japanese. His new teammates enjoyed that one. Yoshi has just picked up his second foul though. Come in. There's a bit of housekeeping to uh, mull over here. Takasaki. Just 
checking to see my instinct straight away. I think I said it in commentary was that's a two. He had the right foot on the line. Count it. As a two at the time. Or remain as a two. Japanese coach Tom Hovas asking the question. Substitution, Japan, number 16. Sadam getting. And so he wants it. Jim Shudi averages 18.1 points, 4.2 assists, but he survived a nightmare in the home win over Japan. And he scored two points in that whole game. He was two of 19 in the field. And still able to win it by 11. A trail by eight in this one. Toast. The footwork. That one's certainly behind the perimeter. And a foul. Well, his team have sent so many warnings from the perimeter. And it's planted the seed of doubt. The seed of fear in Iranian minds. Forcing the foul on the three. Maybe Iran haven't read the scouting report because Katos in these qualifiers just one of nine from three-point range coming into this game. They didn't face him in the reverse meeting. He didn't play in Tehran. It's the five threes of his teammates in the first half of this game that's concerned the Iran defence enough to commit the foul on the three. Although Toes can't take advantage too well from the strike. The lead is up to ten though. And two of three. Well, Iran have been rocked out of their rhythm. They're going to talk it over on the bench. Just two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Iran lose the ball and down 10. with the fifth three of the first half for Japan after they had four in the first quarter. He knocks one down in the second. His first points for the Japanese team. A plus 15 from three-point territory. Iran yet to hit one. Shortly after that Hawkinson three, Toes was fouled on a three. He made a couple of free throws, and the lead has grown to ten. Toes looking to orchestrate the offense. And now he... Toes going to work. Kato's underarm scoop off the window, good, and the lead for Japan is 12. And he's come in in this second quarter off the bench and got four quick fire points. Masha Eki with the pass side catch and a foul again. Japan's third. Foul. 
His second foul. He actually fouled out in the defeat in a round. After knocking down three of six, threes on route to nine points, two steals and a block. Free throw. It's very important indeed now for his team. Zemi making one after missing his first three. And then, rather disconcertingly for him, having to wait with the sweat beads pouring down before taking the next one. So Karzemi, just one of five at the line. There's a team, they're shooting only 50%. That's quite getting there for plenty. Toes, three-point shot again, drills it. K Toes with just his second three of this campaign. And Japan lead around by 14. Tough shot. And Iran's time of need, stepping up Hamad Jamshidi. Toes entry pass. Hawkinson, little push, doesn't go. Battles for the board. Two of them down on the deck for a round. Three-point shot. Suda misses. Another offensive rebound. Well, Japan are even volleying around on the boards now. It's been an excellent display from the home team. Almost turning it over on the baseline. Recovered, though. Masha Eki saving it. Helped out then by his teammates. Long two. Not much going down for a round from the field. And it's Japan at possession. Offensive rebound and stick back from Kanachika. 19 year old. Celebrated by Tom Hovas, his coach. He's working his wonders again. Doing so with plenty of young Japanese talents. An American coach who led the women's team to an unlikely silver at the Tokyo Olympics. tip that Japan's advantage was their quickness and Iran's advantage was their ability on the boards especially in terms of the amount of offensive rebounds they grabbed for second chance scoring opportunities well actually Japan have scored more points and grabbed more offensive rebounds creating more second chance opportunities six offensive boards for Japan, and they have held a round to just three. In Japan's backboard, it's 14 to three count in their favor. They're protecting their window. 
a 14 point lead. And they'll look to stretch off the back of the timeout. No sympathy shown whatsoever for a ref. Utaro Suda this time, six threes from five different players in the first half. Right on cue. Around, grab an offensive rebound and turn it into points. It was a big part of the recipe for their win over Japan in Tehran. Suda. Right on the money. Japan set their radars right from long range from the opening tip. Six threes now, around zero. Togashi, he hit the first, takes the ring rotor out of the defense. It's another one, off balance, contested, still goes down. Ren Kanachika, the 19-year-old. Seven first-half threes for Japan, six different players. And an 18-point lead. Their bench is blowing around to bits. Final four minutes of the first half. They need it, they don't get it. They do get a trip to the foul line around. He saved it there. He elevated so swiftly. Calmness and composure from the teenager. What a performance this has been. Over the first 16 minutes from Tom Hovas's Japan. Don't quite know what's hit them. Saeed Amagani's team, just 8 of 22 from the field, 8 of 16 from the line. And help by Sina Vahedi to increase that percentage beyond 50. Getting to the line one area they're having a big advantage but they're not really making them count game contested three this time the miss is around really trying to stretch the defense out to the perimeter to stop Japan's shooters but they leave the paint open for the offensive rebound again Togashi on the sidestep back-to-back misses The round looking to get tighter to shooters. Can they use that defensive platform from which to launch their offense? Still nothing on the outside for them. Togashi's not hanging around here. This is the screen of Hawkinson for the switch. Hawkinson passes out of the double team. Baseline burst and the big two-handed hammer from Watanabe to rock Iran against the ropes. Two bigs combining to land a big blow. Japan lead around by 19. Saeed Amagani, the Iran coach, 
Just like a trainer throwing in the towel, trying to stop an opponent pummeling his fighter. Japan have landed blow after blow after blow. That, in terms of the forcefulness from Watanabe, was the biggest of them all. They were jabbing and jabbing and jabbing from the perimeter before the knockout blow with the big dunk. The rounds still have time to recover, but they're down 19. And Japan's defense is not resting. And this from Pazrofte takes them to 0 of 6 on the outside. The three from Kanachika. Japan show Iran how it's done. Both of his threes have come over the last few minutes. It's now a 22-point advantage. Nice pass. Still nothing doing. And Japan still not slowing down. Here he goes again, not this time though, for Kanachika. We need a big two minutes to finish this first half. Jamshidi to the far side, Vakedi for three. We still can't get anything. It's like they're firing threes in desperation already. It's still. 21 and a half minutes to play. They've only taken four in the whole game until a few minutes ago. They've taken a quick three since then. An 0 of 7 altogether. Hawkinson. Fade away. Off one foot. Good to beat the shot clock buzzer. And Japan's lead has ballooned to 24. Where does this leave Iran in terms of their World Cup dream? They had the win advantage over Kazakhstan heading into this final window. Kazakhstan will tip off in Hong Kong against China shortly after this one with a chance to tie. Iran's record if Iran lose here, ahead of the final games for both nations on Sunday. Gears to the basket, the miss though for Togashi. And with limited energy right now. I'd say that about pretty much anybody on the Japan roster. 22, they still have the ball. Suda. Kanachika. He's going to take on another three. He had a couple of quick makes. He's had a couple of quick misses now. And we'll hope to take it. Ahead of half time, beneath 20. That's a pretty good start in doing so. The burst to the basket, Yakshali. The trap defense as well. So Gashi finds a way out. Five or six second differential. End of the second quarter. 20 is the Japan lead. So Gashi. Is there one more three for them in this half? Yes, there is. Ten first half threes. And Iran can't stop the rocks on the outside. And a huge disparity in three point shooting. 30 points from three point range for Japan, zero for Iran and the lead for Japan at half time 
is 23 points, 52 to 29. You see the three-point shooting, 10 of 21 for Japan, 0 of 8 for Iran, but Japan also the better team on the interior. Iran getting some joy at the strike, but not at a great percentage. Japan on the boards have been big, including eight offensive rebounds to Iran's four. And that was the area we expected Iran would have the advantage. Japan have the ball up by 23, just to make matters a little bit worse for Iran. And start the second half, facing the prospect of an even greater deficit. There he goes again, dancing and delivering. Kawamura back in and back to his brilliant best. Five, Japan's lead. And Iran trapped on the baseline, trying to find a way out. Yakshali. Shot clock ticking down. Can he find the pass? He does. Neatly done. And getting his geometry spot on off the window. Where's Jamshidi? Not quite able to do the same. Hijima. 25 has been the largest lead. Around though with the chance now for back-to-back -back scores. Jamshidi going to work again. Kazemi, the rebound, trying to grab another. Hit into it by Hawkinson. He tipped to a teammate. Three-point shot, Japan. If it gets any more than this, then starting to look like Mission Impossible for a rep. What a finish that was from Kawamura. Fantastic floater. He becomes the first player in the game to hit double figures. His 10 points coming in just six minutes. We've got a coach's challenge here. touch who be an official it's a tough job that is a tough call two hands on it at the same time fingers of both players rolling down the ball a blurred image possession of Japan and you can't change the call unless you see conclusive evidence to the contrary. Hawkinson, oh! Hawkinson, the hammer. Kawamura lit the fuse. Hawkinson detonates the dunk. Turn to facilitating the 21 year old Kawamura. Van can't buy a bucket from distance. Hardly from anywhere. Only hit 10 shots all game. And Hawkinson has arrived on the international scene for Japan. I said, Iran couldn't allow. This lead to grow much more, they have done. Since I said that, 23 has become 27. Kawamura to Hawkinson, just get out of the way.
comes Almora's first assist of the game. is on again how about another offensive rebound wouldn't go down though for Inui twenty seven still the margin still no threes for a round as Rothley passed up the chance that time Jan Shudu will get to work tough shot over the top of Kawamura with one leg spinning towards the baseline Even when Iran hit a two, Japan upgrade to a three. Surely they're going to hit a three eventually. Long two to this time, Yang Shali. And at least with a couple of quick scores to turn it up on defense as well. 28 was the lead before that. Hawkinson of Kawa Mora's feed. Those two are having their way with around right now. Three point shot, wide open, nothing. Iran now 0 of 10. From three-point range, and Hawkinson, the trail wouldn't go. Make it over 11. And Japan have hit 11 at 46% accuracy. Kawamura. Turns it over, first turnover. And an unsportsmanlike foul called on Inui. So free throws and possession for a ram. As they try and overturn the largest deficit of the game at 28. Is the slenderest of lifelines for his team. Japan have just been excellent, pretty much from start to this point. 22 points in the first quarter, 30 in the second, 11 already here in the third. getting one point from that trip to the line. They get the ball back now off the back of the sportsman line. Wilkinson protecting the back ball. Almora's passed down the baseline. Got it. He knew it. So no assists in the first half. It's now three assists in this third quarter for Kawamura. Davudi can't stop the rock from long range. They ran 0 of 12. The 29 is now the largest lead. Not many expected this. Hawkinson able to recover in the backcourt. Needs to take it on the mismatch, not just with his size, but with his mobility, physicality, and finesse. It looks like game set a match. Saeed Armagani calls a last ditch timeout on the Iran bench.
Awanoa now picking the run apart with his passes. A long three off the back of the timeout for Iran. Need a stretch beyond 30. Contested three off the mark, rebound. Around the perimeter, three-point shot. They get one, finally. Gigurian with Iran's first three on their 14th attempt. It's taken them 26 and a half minutes of play. Twenty-eight, the margin from 31 down. To get back to back scores, it would have to be a comeback for the ages. Japan showing no signs of dropping their intensity though, and Suda. Keep on Karzani. He's gone to the bench now off the back of the timeout, but Hawkinson, now the top scorer. To his burst in this third quarter. Hawkinson has 13 points and 10 rebounds for the double double. Four assists as well. What an all round performance it's been from Japan's new player. Toes got it down one. And he has stepped up as well. K Toes. Now nine points for the 24 year old. Just seven and a half minutes. Three of three from the field, two of three from the line so far. Substitution, number five. Coming in, goes Davudi. So the lead ties the largest with 31. Double digits now for K Toes. There's three scorers on double figures. Japan already. Still two minutes for the third to play. Well, you wait so long for one, and then two come along at once. And then taking 26 and a half minutes for their first three. Down another one, 90 seconds or so later. Toes. Back from the baseline, a little floater. Little four for Nagayoshi. That's a pass from Kanachika. Deep three off from time for Akajanpur. Put in the final minute of the third quarter. Toes has 10 points, a couple of assists as well. Out to the corner. Good. Fellow young player. And he has really impressed as well on his qualifier's debut. Kanachika. Hearing it from these fans, the 19-year-old. He becomes their fourth scorer to double figures. Good 
wide open three. This time halfway down, back out, back in again for Akajampo. Renfielder. Raining freeze is the only way to produce a miracle. And hit three of them over the last three minutes. To zero before that. Kato's though, bought his dancing shoes today. points in 10 minutes for him 30 the lead for Japan no matter what Iran do they can't stop the host scoring and they take a 30 point lead into the final 10 minutes very impressive indeed from one of the World Cup co-hosts as they move towards the main event in September percentages from the field they've only been to the line for four free throws that's where Iran have had an advantage taking 23 but only making them 52 percent at least knocking down a few threes now and Kawamura after those fantastic four and a half minutes in the first half Comes in at the start of the second and makes an impact once more. This time facilitating three quick assists. A couple of them to Hawkinson, who has the double double now. Leads his team in scoring and rebounding 13 points, 10 rebounds, and also a team I four assists for Joshua Hawkinson. Looks like a pretty good addition for Japan. Kato's took charge of that third quarter as well as he moved to 12 points, three assists as well. So four scorers and double figures for Japan behind the 13 of Hawkinson and 12 for Toes, 11 for Kanachika, the 19-year-old, and 10 for Kawamura, the 21-year-old. Kato's is still only 24. These fans have a bright future to look forward to. And their team is shining in the present as well. Now hot potato with it, they create the opening open shot of the fourth quarter around but can't hit it. What you have to admire as well, not just the scoring of Japan, but their all-round intensity, the way they play the game as a team, both on offense and defense. It's been consistent throughout, really no let-up. This is that first injection of energy when Kawamura came off the bench in the first quarter. Hawkinson inside, not this time. He goes to the line for two, though. He was good in the first half, he's been excellent in the second. He's now 6 of 11 from the field. This is his first trip to the line. And big man helping to stretch the floor for Japan as well as knocked down one of their 12 threes in the game. He's got a 23. He's got 24 efficiency rating. The highest of any player in the game. He's also got the highest plus minus of any player in the game at 30. 32 is now the lead for Japan. Brilliant. Their new high flyer. 
racking up the air miles. Josh Hawkinson up to 17 points, 10 rebounds, 4 assists now. And they lead up to 34. And they're not even aware of the shot clock around. And they just want to get on the plane to Australia now. Hawkinson's already in the air. Big dunks from him. What a big acquisition for Japan's qualifying campaign heading towards the main event. So Gashi falling down to the deck, can't hit the three. We talked about 70 being Iran's magic number. Hannah a long way past 70 already with eight minutes to play. And World Cup qualifiers are perfect 5-0 on the road when they've kept teams beneath 70, but 0-4 on the road. And teams have scored more than 70. I don't think there's any way they're going to salvage this one to change that. Despite the fact they are knocking down a few threes now. At least take it beneath 30 here for the score. Yak Shelley. By Masha Eki out of this near side. Little floater inside this time from Giguria. So Gashi will get it back, puts it on the floor. Quick first step, getting the defense sliding and forcing the foul. Okay, that's the space that the three-point shooting affords you. That's adamant that Togashi was pulling the trigger on a three. Instead puts it on the floor. Hawkinson hearing it as he goes to the bench. 17 points, 11 rebounds, two offensive rebounds, four assists, zero turnovers, a 27 efficiency. Shelly. Everybody for Iran has struggled. And they're leaving it too late now to get the offense moving. We knew it. Nishida. Another young player, 23 years of age. Nishida denied though. Excellent defense from Pazarov Day. We're heading onto the corner. Three point shot doesn't go for Yakshali. We've kept them just about barely breathing. Had that three gone down. And the foul on Togashi. Too little, too late. The big rejection from Pazrov Day. The heady getting a basket. The run getting back beneath 30. With only six minutes to play. The heady. Long range two on the turnaround doesn't drop for Jamshidi. He's got 10 points on 4 of 11 shooting Jamshidi. He actually leads the way for a round with 11 points, but only on 3 of 9 shooting, 0 of 5 on the outside. These two big scorers haven't had much help. Or 
passes on to Nishida. The points have dried up for Japan really for the first time in the game. Five and a half minutes to play. And the first little drought. And not taking advantage. It's only four points in this quarter for Japan. But it's only five for Iran. Japan scored 22 in the first, 30 in the second, 23 in the third. Kawamura has to inject a bit of life back into the offense. Nishida, Kawamura makes the three, makes the three. That quick release from the 21 year old talent. Thirteen ultra-efficient points for Kawamura. Five of five from the field, including three of three from downtown. And Japan playing tough interior defense again as well now. Kawamura's pass to the corner this time. Rebound by Hedy. One pass down the floor. Forty-two the lead, despite Japan's drop in intensity. For much of this quarter, Iran still haven't done anything about closing the gap. And on the boards, they take it to 30. As Rote has done well when he's come in. Seven points now, though. He's really come at a push, three of 11 from the field, but he had that big block on the defensive end as well. Well, there's the youngest talent of them all for Japan. And he is a three-point threat. Ren Kanachika knocking down another. 14 points now with four made threes. And Japan lead by 33 with four minutes to play. This story this afternoon is all about how good Japan have been. The two-time Asian champions shooting the lights out. And rising stars who are reaching for the stars. They're going to compete at the World Cup for a seventh time. The second time as host of the event, having also done so in 2006 when they failed to make it out of the group stage to qualify for the next two editions and then returned in China in 2019 but finished as one of four teams to lose all five of their games. This set of Japanese players looks like they can look at us step up and take notice. Same spot in the corner, same outcome for their teenage talent. Ren Kanachika with five made threes. And the head, he turns it over. Trying to pass swiftly to Aramiri. This young man looks like he can't miss. 17 points now to Ty Hawkinson as the top scorer. Toes. Turnover to Japan as well. Maybe four straight wins for Japan. They've really turned up 
Whoa! Unbelievable. Smiles all round here in Japan. This kid is unconscious. Ren Kanachika with six made threes and that one from near centre court banked in. He ran looking for a three-point play the old-fashioned way, but Kanachika just gets further and further away from the basket and keeps on making them. Six of ten from downtown, now 20 points. This is very first appearance in qualifying. Take advantage of the turnover. He actually does so. And he's made six. Kanachika. Japan have now made 16 threes. Toes. Twisting, turning, tormenting. Not getting the score. And then a whistle. Japan were only two and four in the first phase of qualifying. They've used the second phase to pick up the pace in their preparation for the main event. Four straight wins now. Watch their first game in Iran in this second phase. Now four wins. In reply, by a dominant 25 at home to Kazakhstan, by 13 in Bahrain, then by 20 in Kazakhstan. And now here, 32 at the moment against Iran. It's the biggest and best performance of them all. Tom Hobas's team getting better and better the closer they get to the World Cup. He's a coach who won two Asia Cup golds and then led the women's team to an unlikely silver medal in Tokyo 2020. He's also an assistant at Rio 2016 and now he's guiding this young men's team, really nurturing these fantastic young talents. Kawamura with another dazzling dribble up to 15 points. You would have said he's the brightest talent of them all, but Kanachika has something to say about that. Kawamura going to work again. Hesitation, past the toes, in the corner. Time for one more three. 17 triples this afternoon for Japan. And they've shot them at 47% accuracy. Japan are building up steam ahead of the World Cup. The question for Iran is will they be there? Will they not qualify for the World Cup before they have reached the last three events? If they're to make it four in a row, they need to take care of business on Sunday perhaps. Because Kazakhstan are right there behind them. Tom Hovas as a player spent 10 seasons in Japan also had a brief stint with the Atlanta Hawks and his time on the bench with the women's team and now the men's team Looking to work his wonders again have been quite wonderful to watch. They want 
to hit the century now. This will just fall short. Just a couple of seconds differential. At the end of the game, they're still determined to play their tough defense despite leading by 35 points. Slightly dropping the intensity they have, giving themselves fouls to give at the end of this fourth quarter. What a qualifying debut for Hawkinson and for Kanachika. New players taking Japan to the next level. Taking them to the World Cup with real momentum. What a performance from Japan to batter Iran here in Takasaki. They win it in the end by 35 points, knocking down 17 threes and dishing 23 assists. Four straight qualifier wins for Japan. Home fans leave happy. And we'll look to return to watch their team in the World Cup proper in September. But will Iran be amongst the field at the main event? They still have work to do. This was a bit of a reality check for them in this final window. Now to just 61 points, losing by 35. And now they travel to Hong Kong to face China on Sunday. And Kazakhstan facing that same opponent very shortly today, hoping to tie Iran's records in the group with just one ticket to the World Cup remaining. Josh Hawkinson, superb. The highest efficiency of any player on the court. 17 points, 11 rebounds, four assists, a 27 efficiency. Ended up as one of four scorers in double figures for Japan. Kawamura, one of them. 15 points without a miss, including three threes, four assists, and just one turnover in only 16 minutes on court for the 21-year-old. Hawkinson benefited on a couple of occasions from those assists and that intensity. Iran started to knock down threes with three and a half minutes of the third quarter to play. So they missed, I believe, their first 14 three-point attempts of the game. Kato's another impressive young player for Japan, finished with 15 points in less than 14 minutes, only missed one shot from the field. Had five assists as well with two turnovers. So much to admire about this team, the way they've played as a team and the way they, they've played as individuals as well quality and cohesion and the character to never rest throughout the course of the 40 minutes and they showed their strength in depth with a ton of points from their bench and young players getting better and better That's just a dominant display. Hawkinson's big dunks, embellishing that point. He was seven of 12 from the field en route to his 17 points. And up there, 17 threes as a team. Kawamura, three of three on the outside, but stealing the spotlight in that regard was Ren Kanachika. The younger player, the 19-year-old, 
He was six of ten from downtown en route to a team high 20 points. Playing 25 minutes on his first qualifier's appearance. Iran torn apart by a teenager and 21 year old and a new recruit in Josh Hawkinson. And there's a look at Group F, Japan, four straight wins, moved to six and five. It's all about finishing fourth, Iran or Kazakhstan. Iran have the edge, Kazakhstan have the game in hand. And there's a look at the tickets to be grabbed, or the tickets that have been grabbed. The spaces that remain, Japan there as one of the co-hosts. Iran still hoping to be there, still have some work to do. It's been a pleasure having your company for this one here in Takazaki. We'll see you next time here in this final window of qualifiers for the 2023 FIBA World Cup.